Welcome back to HSE Nation. Today we're diving deep into one of the most catastrophic industrial disasters in history, the Piper Alpha incident of 1988. The Piper Alpha oil platform stood tall, 30 meters above the fierce waters of the North Sea, serving as a significant hub for the UK's offshore oil production. At its peak, Piper Alpha accounted for about 10% of the UK's North Sea oil output, contributing around 3.5 million a day to Occidental Petroleum. On the evening of July 6, 1988, a series of catastrophic failures and oversights led to one of the deadliest offshore oil disasters. Of the 225 men on board, 167 tragically lost their lives as the platform was reduced to a burning wreckage. The disaster began with the removal of a safety valve on pump A. A permit had been issued for this task, but the job was left incomplete and a blanking plate was temporarily fixed. Unfortunately, the permit was returned but subsequently got lost. Meanwhile, pump B failed, forcing the supervisor to cancel a second permit for a scheduled maintenance shutdown on pump A. With no operational safety valve, the blanking plate on pump A blew off, leading to a gas explosion. While the initial explosion was survivable, the lack of proper blast walls allowed an oil fire to take hold quickly. The controls were knocked out and the rig was left inoperative. Two other rigs feeding the same oil export line didn't shut down until an hour after the initial mayday signal, sending more oil to fuel the fire. The surrounding gas pipelines, affected by the intense heat, eventually ruptured, causing massive explosions that engulfed the rig in flames. Remarkably, this danger was highlighted in a report a year prior, yet no modifications were made to mitigate this risk. Rescue efforts were hindered by thick black smoke which prevented helicopter evacuations. Dozens of men were trapped, and with routes to lifeboats blocked and no clear communication, many were left with no guidance. Some men bravely disobeyed their minimal training and jumped 30 meters into the sea, their only chance of survival. Temperatures on the rig soared to over 1,000 degrees C, melting most of its structure. Only the drilling platform, ironically considered the most high-risk area, remained above water. In the aftermath, the public inquiry led by Lord Cullen found that Occidental Petroleum had adopted a superficial attitude toward safety. The report highlighted severe management failures in design, procedures, communication and training, all of which had persisted for some time. The Piper Alpha disaster was a wake-up call for the entire oil industry, underscoring the dire consequences of poor safety management and the critical need for stringent safety protocols on offshore rigs. Thank you for joining us as we revisited this tragic incident. The lessons learned from Piper Alpha continue to shape the safety standards in the oil and gas industry today. If you found this video informative, please like, share and subscribe for more in-depth analyses of historical events. Stay safe and see you in the next video.